Let's talk about a oscillator circuit. This is an op amp and this oscillates. There's a capacitor and it's uh, being charged up with a resistor and it charges up to a certain amount and then it discharges to a certain amount. So how does that work in this thing? Well, these R's are all the same value, R, R, R. So, you know, we have an op amp that runs off of plus and minus V. And so what's the output? Well, the output can be plus V or it could be minus V, right? It can be somewhere in that range. Um, and so what can this point be? Well, there's a resistive divider. So this point here can be plus V over two or minus V over two, okay? That's the range that, uh, that this can be. So what does the op amp do? Well, if you start at some condition, let's say you start at the plus V condition, then you have plus V over two here, and the op amp wants this, mode, this node here to be plus V over two, all right? And so it's going to um, take this plus V that's here and the current's going to go through this R into this capacitor, and that capacitor is going to start to ramp up. And when that capacitor finally reaches plus V over 2, then the op amp's going to see the negative input bigger than the positive input, so it's going to flip state, and this is going to become minus V. And then this point will be minus V over 2. But the op amp wants this to be minus V over 2. So the minus V comes in here and starts discharging the capacitor, until it reaches minus V over two, and then it'll flip states again. So it's always going to be, it's always going to be oscillating. The capacitor is always going to be going between plus V over two and minus V over two. Okay. And the output's always going to be plus V or minus V. And so we're going to get the capacitor charged up and then the capacitor charged down, right? Capacitor charged up and, and the capacitor will go between plus V over two and minus V over two, right? So that works great. The circuit that I want to talk about today is, well, what if you don't have minus V? What if your op amp is single ended? Okay. What if this is ground? Well, then these are ground as well. So it's not going to operate very nicely because um, what are the states the output can be? Well, it can be plus V or it can be zero. Okay. And so what can this node be? Well, it can be plus V over two, but it can also be zero. Okay, this then turns into zero. And if you have a single-ended op amp, zero, and you're, and, you're, and you're trying to operate it at zero, most op amps won't ever do that. They don't like to operate right at the ground potential. They need to be biased up. They need to be in their happy zone, right? And so this circuit will not work if you have a single-ended supply. So this is a really cool trick. Um, and it was used in a circuit that I just showed, so I'm going to use it in, in our demonstration. But let me show you what, what the trick is. And that's to add this one resistor. It's all the same. The rest of the circuit is exactly the same. Except I've added this one resistor, and it goes to plus V. So the output can either be plus V or ground, okay? But the node, if this is plus V, then this would be plus V over 2, but you also have another plus V. So it's actually uh, plus V plus V and a, a ground. So we're going to have two-thirds of plus V here. And then if this is ground, you have two grounds and one plus V, you'll have one-third of plus V. Okay. So this node's going to oscillate between two-thirds V and one-third V, all right? And then the output will be, go between uh, uh, V and zero. All right, and then just to set this, uh, the speed of this thing, you just take this R and the C, and that tells you what the speed this thing's going to oscillate. Let's do that with my choo-choo train circuit, <laughs> because it had... Uh, it had op amp oscillators, okay? So I've, I've uh, put scope probes on uh, one of those oscillators, 
and this is what we've got. All right. So uh, the cyan trace is the capacitor, so it ramps up, then ramps down, then ramps up, then ramps down. How far does it ramp up? Well, the output is the yellow trace, so it goes between 0 and plus 9, 0 and plus 9. And so it goes to 3 volts, 6 volts, 3 volts, 6 volts. And then the um, magenta trace is the, uh, the other the plus input to the op amp, okay? So the cyan is the minus minus input, and and the uh, cyan is the is the uh, plus input. So there you go. Uh, it's an easy way to uh, to make an oscillator. If if you, if you have happen to have an extra op amp laying around and you don't want to put in a five 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 or something, uh, you can just use one of these. Um, and uh, yeah, they work great.